All right, let's practice skip counting by 10 today. Okay, so I see that we want to find out how many oranges there are and we need to count by tens. Now, we can just straightforward count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Okay, but let's say you don't know how to count by tens yet, and that's okay. Here's a little shortcut for you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to count the number of bags, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven bags. Since I'm counting by ten, I'm going to put a zero at the end of each one. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So either way I counted it, I have 70 oranges. Okay, we're counting by tens again. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, We're going to restart this one. Okay, so we're going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What did I say to do? Put a zero on the end. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Now, that's again, if you can't count by tens yet, but if you can count by tens, you would just count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So there is a total of 80 eggs. Okay, let's count by tens again. We have 10, 20, 30, 40. And again, if you can't count by tens, start by just counting the number of bags. So there were four bags, and there were 10 in each. We still get 40. Now, this time it's a little bit different because the apples aren't in bags. So to help me out, I'm going to mark off the bags, if you will. Like this would be a bag, this would be a bag, this would be a bag, and this would be a bag. And I do that so I know that I have groups of 10, okay? So now, let's count by 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 40 apples. Good job. Okay, same thing, we're counting by tens. They are not in bags, so let's circle them so we know we have groups of 10. So it helps us separate and make sure that we're not counting any apples twice in two different groups. Okay, so counting by tens, 10, 20, 30, and 40. So how many apples do we have? 40. Okay, we have a lot of eggs here. Okay, so let's count. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Good job, 100. Okay, next one. Oh, they're in bags already. 
So what do you think? Count by tens. What do you get? We'll double check it. 10, 20, 30, 40. So there's 40 total oranges. This time we have bananas. Are they already circled? Are they in groups? No, they're not. So let's circle them so we can tell that they're in groups. Okay. Now I have how many groups? I have five groups. So I should wind up getting 50 at the end. Let's check. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That's right, we have 50 bananas. You're doing an awesome job here. All right, this time I have more bananas, not as many as last time. Here's one group and two groups. Okay, how many bananas do you think there are? Is it 20, 100, 30, or 10? What do you think? Well, I have 10 here. And 10 more is 20. So there are 20 bananas. Let's do one more. I have one bag that has 10 oranges. So I just count by 10. One time, what do I get? 10, that's it. Great job counting by 10s.